Hi everybody, thanks for watching. As you can see, I like collecting old beer stuff, specifically Wausau, Wisconsin beer stuff. And I've got a pretty good collection going here. And today I wanted to show you how I'm going to build a hanger for this old Matthew Reuter Red Ribbon beer tray. Uh, this is from the 1930s. I've got another one down there from a little bit early or a little bit later. But uh, I'm going to show you how you can hang this on a wall without damaging the tray. Here's how we're going to hang this vintage beer tray up on the wall without damaging it. Basically we're using a couple magnets that you can get at a hardware store. These two magnets will be side by side and we're going to glue them together with some super glue. We're also going to super glue a screw eye to the back of these magnets and then these magnets will stick to the back of the tray and the eye is what we're going to use to hang it on a nail on the wall. So these magnets don't damage the back of the tray. I've got this little piece of padded plastic. This is the kind of stuff you send fragile stuff in the mail through. We can either double it up or just cut it to fit so the sharp magnet, ceramic block magnet, doesn't scratch our tray because we want this thing to look nice and be uh, protected. So let's open up the magnets. These cost about two dollars. This cost about a dollar. and I think we paid about three dollars for this but we can use this for multiple applications. And we're only going to use one of these and you have another seven or eight for other things around the house. Magnets first. Okay, here they are. They fit together just like this. And what I'm going to do is put a drop of super glue in between them. And on the back of this tray, I'm going to put that padding in between it. So I wanted to see which side was the magnetic side. Not there we go. Doesn't matter. We'll put that there. And then with the eye piece, open these up. The screw eye here is just going to be super glued like that with a little bit of the uh, hoop, a little bit of the eye over the magnet so it doesn't twist around. I'm going to lift this off carefully so you can see and that way this side will be against the tray and we'll have about, in this case, the thickness of the magnets for the nail to be protruding from the wall uh, before it touches the tray. So we'll go ahead and glue this and then put it on a tray and hang it on the wall. Three drops. Position it nice and flat. Okay, that's glued. And we'll let that dry for a little bit. Okay, the magnets are glued together. I'm going to lay them down just in case on this cardboard to protect the countertop. And I'm going to glue this screw eye so that. part of the eye remains over the magnet that way it will um, not rotate on me. So again just with some super glue, try not to be a klutz. I'm just going to do a line here. Kind of make it the shape of the screw eye and we're just going to lay this on there. Okay, it glues real fast. And that doesn't give me a lot of room for the nail, just enough to hook it in there. And we'll let that dry. Okay, this is all glued. It's on there so solid I obviously can't move it. And this part will go against the tray. I'm just going to cut the padding or at least double the padding like that to really protect the tray as much as I can. That wasn't actually in the field of view. So I just doubled over that little thin padding to make it extra thick. 
Let me back this up a little. Then back my tray. Just gonna put that there. And that will hold the tray. See how that goes? I'll slide this up a little bit more. We'll slide that up a little bit more and put a nail on the wall. The nail has to stick out less than a distance from this eyelet to the tray. And I might actually, just in case, rotate that 90 degrees to put the excess pad up here in case the nail does actually touch the back of the tray. And that's it from the side view. Back up, see my kitchen cupboards. From the side view, you see we have a little bit of space between the tray and the magnet which supports it and the screw head, and that will be where the nail goes. Let's go put it on the wall. All right, I've got my tray up on the wall now. You can see I've got my old beer case, some beer barrel, some original art. But there is my 1930s Red Ribbon Beer Matthew Reuter Brewing Company in Wausau, Wisconsin. It's nicely displayed out of the sunshine, above the window, next to its Shane's counterpart. So that's how you display, just using a nail in the background and the magnet, a nice vintage beer tray without any damage. If you like my videos, hit subscribe. I put new ones on all the time. And as always, thanks for watching.